Okay, so I'm going to show you how to lay out a rectangular offset using shop drawings. So the first step is on the job site is to draw the shop drawing. So this particular one has an 8 inch equipment seam on the left hand side a 13 inch equipment seam on the bottom side, an 11 inch duct seam on the top side, a nine inch duct seam on the right side, and it's offset by an inch and three quarters here, and it's offset by 2.5 inches here, and it's 10.5 inches tall. Okay, so if you visualize that, it's going to look something like this here, this offset. Let's see. Yeah, something like that. Except this is a bigger offset than this one here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the top view of the drawing to scale. So it's going to look just like this, except for it's going to be to scale. So I'm going to grab my 90 my square and I'm going to start drawing that in. So the first one rectangle that I'm going to draw is this 8 inch by 13 inch. So 13 inch 8 inch draw that guy in. my duct to scale with my offsets so this here 9 inch is going to be 1.75 inches off from here so I'm going to go one point seven five inches up Seven five inches up, and then here it's 2.5 inches over. So I'm going to go 2.5 inches over here. This is off of a square plane, and 2.5 inches over here. Okay, so now I know that that's where this lays out from. So I'm going to put my square here on my mark so I know that it's square and then I'm going to plot 11 inches over maybe I can see 11 inches and I'm going to plot 9 inches down I'm going to draw that in And again, eleven inches, turn that around, I can't see that very well. Eleven inches and nine inches, right there. So now I can see exactly how it's going to look from the plain view or the top view. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a true length bar and I'm going to draw it to the height of 10.5 inches and I really cannot see on this thing. Let's see here. Point five inches tall. Yep, 
Now, this is going to give me the lengths from a square plane from my top, my bottom, my right, and my left. So, from a square plane, I need to either, I need to measure the distance. So my top distance is going to be right here. I'm just going to mark that with a T for top. My right distance is going to be distance is going to be now you can use a ruler to get these distances too you don't have to use a compass to get these distances so if I wanted to just use my ruler I just measure that distance right there and it looks to be just under one inch That right there is my bottom, so I'm going to put a B on that one. And then all I need is my right. I mean my left, not my right. My left. So there's my left. So. Each of these lengths <coughs> are going to be referenced from this true length bar from 10.5 inches tall from here to here and from my angles. That's how you're getting your lengths. So let's build one piece at a time. So let's build the bottom piece first, and the total height of the bottom piece is going to be this right here. So grab me one of those pieces. Oh, here's a piece of scrap. This is going to be perfect. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my equipment flange. So right now, the bottom is going to have uh, equipment flange on the 13, 13 inch side and that is 13 okay so I'm gonna put in if I'm gonna do an, a double equipment flange I'm gonna put one inch if I'm just gonna do a single equipment flange I'm gonna do a half inch so I'm just doing a single equipment flange just to save time okay and then I'm going to mark that at 13 inches and I'm going to extend this side by 2.5 inches for my offset so now if I use my square here, let's, let's first get my height. And I got my height by using my true, true length bar here. Okay, so there's my height. So, if I just put an arc there, and then I just connect the top of the arcs, like this,
it will be that exact distance. Okay, then next, I'm gonna grab my square. So this is my 13 inches from here to here. And then this is my offset of two and a half inches. So if I draw my offset in, right here, and mark it, right there, then I can draw this offset this way. You're going to the 13 inch mark on the bottom, right? Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to my first mark. So that should be 2.5 inches over, and it is, okay? Now, I need to figure out what this distance is. So that distance is 11 inches, according to my drawing and according to my, to my scale drawing. So I'm just gonna go 11 inches over. And then I'm gonna connect these two together. Now on this one, I'm gonna add my female seams to this, this to the bottom and the top. So I'm gonna first add for my um, S cleat, one inch up here. So there's my S cleat right there for the top. And then because I'm putting a Pittsburgh on, I'm gonna add one inch on each side. One inch. One inch. One inch. One inch. So now I have successfully laid out the bottom piece. There it is. Next, I'm gonna do the right piece. So, I'm gonna first add my, hopefully I got room for this on this piece. I guess we're gonna find out. First, I'm gonna add my half inch equipment flange on the bottom of it. And then I'm gonna look at it and I know if I turn it this way so I can see it. It's coming over to the left and my offset on the top of it is 1.75 and my offset on the bottom of it is around an inch. So I'm going to draw my offset, let's see here, I don't think I'm going to have enough room here to do this. How tall is that right there? This is eight, and this is nine. So. I'm just going to plot it here, and hopefully I have enough room, otherwise I'm going to have to start over. So, there is my 8 inches, okay, and then I have an inch, and, inch point seven five offset, so 1.75, and my length, of course, I'm going to use my true length bar. This is for the right hand side. So, so there's my length right there. So, if I draw a couple arches here. Okay, so I always 
good to double check. And if I draw from the top of those arches across, I'll have my total length. If you notice, everything is square. So this is parallel. These are always parallel to each other. So now, I'm going to drop in my angle, my first angle, which is right here, to here. And I'm going to connect these two together. And then my second angle, so this is going to be eight, right? So here we go, eight. And this other side is going to be nine. So there we go, nine there and then I'm going to draw this angle in okay now I just have to add my S peak on the top right here one inch one inch across there like that so there's my there's my top S cleat, and on each side, I need a quarter inch for my male side of this. So a quarter inch there. And then over here, a quarter inch. Now notice I'm, I'm plotting it out as square to that line as I can. So oh, there's my right hand piece. Okay, next, I've got to do my top piece. I'm going to flip this sucker over so I can see it and visualize the way it's laying out here. 